On AutoLine After Hours last week, our guest was Kirk Stoidel, the head of the Department of Transportation in Michigan. Part of what we talked about was new construction techniques to make bridges faster and cheaper. He told us about a fascinating new construction technique. Take a look. There's a, there's a really cool one coming. We're using carbon fiber. What? We call it bridging a backpack. <laughs> and uh, because you literally go to the job, uh, you go out to the job site with a box that's got carbon fiber tubes that are all folded up inside of it. And you get on site, they blow up the tubes, they fill them full of concrete, let them harden in place, and then they pick them up with two small um, um, backhoe dozers and set them in place. And you have this, now you have this arch, a concrete arch with carbon wrapped around it, and then they put forms on top, fill it in, and we can do it in about half the time. Now, you won't, you're not gonna see any of these on an interstate, but they're low volume roads. We did one out in the Thumb on M25. The first ones were done out in Maine. So we saw that technology, we said we're gonna bring it here, uh, and we did one last year. And it, it saved us time, and we think that there's a, a place for that. Is, is, is there is there a cost disadvantage to doing it that way? I mean, just no, in terms actually, of in terms of in terms of just pure cost. Nope, you save money. Really, it's it's cheaper and it's faster. It's different though. That's the piece that you got to get people comfortable with. It's different. It's not a steel beam. It is a uh, you know a concrete arch that. Frankly, the Romans built bridges with concrete arches. So, but, but who do you need to make comfortable with this? I mean, the, the builders? I mean, No, um, the infrastructure owners. I mean, we need to make sure, because in this case, most of where that would go would be on county roads. So we actually had some open houses and brought them, brought them there, uh, the engineers that are designing them, so that they know, okay, yeah, this, is, this is acceptable to do this. Uh, because the designer is taking on the responsibility when they design something that it's going to stand up and it's their professional liability if the thing fails. So there's, you know, a bit of conservativeness to make sure that when you build something it's not going to fall down.